today we're going to be doing this kind of like smoky neutral eye with a nude lip. Something kind of similar to my last tutorial, only this one I'm using a little bit more warmer shades um, and not so much pink. Actually, there's not really any pink. There's no pink. There's no pink in this video. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. So I've already cleansed my skin and prepped it with an oil. I'm now going to be going in with the Tarte Brighter Days Moisturizer to illuminate and hydrate my skin. Now I'm going in with the Optical Illusion Primer by Urban Decay. I'm going to be taking a pea sized amount and rubbing it between my fingers to warm it up and applying it to my T-zone to blur out any pores I may have. You really want to take your time to rub it into your skin, otherwise when you go in with your foundation, you will see where you've put it and it doesn't look cute. So take your time and make sure it's all blended out. Next I'm taking my Hourglass Vanish Stick in the shade Alabaster with a little bit of oil on my brush. I am a little bit drier so I tend to put oil on my brush before using it, but if you are a little bit oilier you may not need to. I'm going for a fuller coverage today so I'm being very generous with my application as you can see. You don't have to apply this much, a little bit really does go a long way. I was just on my way to work and when I do I go all out. So you just do you boo and it'll be all good. I'm applying it in dabbing motions as you can see to maintain the coverage with my hourglass vanish brush. If you ever feel like you use too much, just apply in swiping motions and it will remove, remove some of the excess. And I just like going in with my beauty sponge afterwards just to even everything out. Now I'm just hiding my dark circles with the Urban Decay Color Correcting Fluid in the shade Peach. I don't know how I never used this before. I don't even know how I never used any color correcting fluid before because I honestly never thought that my dark circles were that bad until I started using it and now my eyes are so much brighter and it's amazing. I love it. I'm going to be concealing my under eyes with the Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade 10 Fair. Um, I mentioned this in my last video. It's actually a really good concealer for $8. I think it probably retails for maybe $10 or something. I got mine on sale. Um, but it's actually quite good for the price. I was quite impressed with it. And again, being very generous with it, I'm going under my eyes with it, as well as on my chin, under my nose, where I typically get a little bit red, and a little bit on my forehead just to even everything out. And then I'm just going to blend it all out with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And I know this probably looks really, really light under my eyes and around my face, but I almost kind of wish that it came in a lighter shade. Um, that's typically why I don't purchase um, drugstore products, because they don't really go light enough. I am very, very fair. Um, so that's probably the only downside because it actually does turn a little bit more pinky under the eyes um, and it doesn't really act as a highlight, but other than that, it's pretty darn good. To set my concealer, I'm going in with the RCMA No Color Powder. Because it's a finer powder, it does sit under my eyes a little bit better and it doesn't show off the wrinkles that I have or my fine lines. Um, and then I typically use the Laura Mercier to set the rest of my face because it is for a more, more oily um, skin type. So it does end up sucking up any extra oil that I do have on my skin. To put a little life back into my skin, I am now going in with the Hula Light Bronzer by Benefit. I mentioned in my last video that I love this bronzer, and I honestly, I love this bronzer. I have an issue, or not an issue, but I have a problem with finding the perfect bronzer for me because I am more fair, and a lot of bronzers end up looking a little bit more orange on my skin. So when this one came out, or it is coming out in a few days, um, I just, I, I fell in love with it because it's literally just like the perfect amount of warmth for a pale skin. Just throwing on a quick application of the Tarte Party Blush. I'm going in now with the Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit in the shades Forever Young and Lit. And I'm just going to be applying this to the tops of my cheekbones, right above my brow bone, on my nose, and on my cupid's bow. Jumping into the eyes now, I'm going in with the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, which is one of my favorites. I'm going with the shade Burnt Orange for my transition shade. We're doing more of a blown out kind of smoky eye today, um, which is why I'm not kind of rounding it around my eye. I'm going to be bringing the eyeshadow straight out, kind of adjacent to the eyebrow. And as you can see, I'm kind of flicking it out towards um, the tail end of my eyebrow. 
I have to keep looking at my camera because I feel like I go out of focus all the time. My camera is having a little bit of trouble um, auto focusing me. I had to delete an entire video because I couldn't see anything I was doing. So like that. Yep. Pretty much. Now going with the shade Realgar, at first I'm applying it to the outer third of my eye to deepen the crease and add some dimension. My original thought was to create a halo eye, but then I kiboshed it and decided not to. So really you'll just be applying it to the lower crease all the way in under the burnt orange that you've just applied. We don't want to cover it. And then we'll just take a clean fluffy brush just to blend it together. I know it does look a little crazy and it will at first, but trust me, it will all come together, I promise. Now going in with the shade Vermeer, I'm going to be wetting my brush with some setting spray and applying it onto my lid. I can't go about my day without having shimmer on my eyeballs, so there you have it. Now taking a smaller fluffy brush, I'm going in with the shade Cypress Umber and I'm going to be using this on the outer V of my eye. So I'm just gonna be applying it in a little V shape on the corner of my eye first, and then I'll be blending it out in just a second. So I'm sorry, but this is what I mean when my camera won't autofocus and you guys can't see anything. So I'm trying to make up with it for my voiceover. Sorry, guys. So again, I'm just gonna do my other eye just to get the shape even on both sides, and then we will blend it out. Don't worry, it's not gonna stay this harsh. As soon as you have the shape down, grab a flat fluffy brush. This one is actually a fluffy paintbrush from Michaels that I picked up. Um, I use paintbrushes a lot as makeup brushes and I actually love them. And I'm just gonna be flicking the shadow outwards instead of blending in circular motions. I don't want this look to be rounded, I want it to be more blown out. And I'm just gonna pick a little bit more of that eyeshadow up and just place it in that outer V. I felt like after I blended it a little bit, it kind of disappeared. So we still want to add a little bit more, but just focus on blending out the outer portions of it so it looks more blown out and it maintains the color in the center. So I'm gonna be using that blending brush that I was using earlier that had a little bit of the burnt orange and real gar on it. And I'm just gonna use that to blend out the outer portions of the what color was it again? Cypress Umber. Now just grabbing a little bit more of that Vermeer, I'm gonna be highlighting my brow bone with it. If you find that it's a little bit messy, I actually just grabbed like a clean, this one's actually a concealer brush, but it has a really nice tapered end point to it. So I just went around um, the eye and around that tapered blown out smoky wing shadow just to clean it up a little bit. I'm just taking a mixture of the burnt orange and the real gar on a little definer brush for my lower lash line. And we'll be taking these colors and blending it all the way into the inner corner. To add a little dimension, we're going to be taking the cypress umber on the outer third of the eye. And again, taking that same clean concealer brush just to blend everything together. I wanted a little bit more of a pop in my inner corner, so I'm taking Lit from the Glow Kit on a small damp brush to highlight. And also placing it in the center of my lid. To line my waterline, I'm taking an Urban Decay eye pencil in the shade Whiskey, which is the perfect warm tone brown. If you were going out or if you just wanted a little bit more drama on the eyes, you could also use a black liner as well. So I've quickly put on some lashes and now I'm just going to be using my Hourglass liquid eyeliner to blend them in. Now to lock this bad boy in, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I got my Clara order in, I'm super excited, I'm going to be doing a swatch video next, so stay tuned. But I'm going to be going in with this shade right here, which is the number 20 in the Clara Cosmetics Kiss Proof Liquid Lipsticks.
enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know what you want to see next. Um, I kind of want to do some like bright colors or something. We'll see. I don't know. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you in the next video.